So we're going to look at head movement to defend the choke. Um, so I'll be something like that. So <clears throat> if someone beats the cross grip defense, it's a, it's a sudden, you know, the voice in your head's telling you, I need to make the, the relax, I need to make this space of my neck smaller by tucking my chin and kind of just bringing my chin down. What's going to happen is, as he comes around and he beats cross grip defense, even if he gets the arm around and I manage to tuck my chin in, relax, let me get it in there, and I'm there, and my chin is sort of protecting my jugular, so Matthew just finishes the choke from there, it's a mandible choke. He's actually hurting my teeth, hurting my jaw. So what we want to do is, if he gets past cross grip defense, as, as the arm that's choking me, I'm looking up, exposing my whole neck, and then I just turn my head. Now my right ear is in his chest. He's cupped this, he's going to try and finish from there. Very, very difficult. Even if he locks on the rear naked from there. He doesn't really have the profile. And I'm going to start to work the escape, but we're not going to do that at the moment. The only thing he can do from there is come through with the other hand. And I stay in this position, he has it. So the detail is... I'm always looking at the at the arm that's choking me. So as he as I feel this coming around, I lift my head and I look over and I'm just here. Ready to finish? Now he'll probably come with the other hand. Notice the way I physically as he switches, lift my head up, my whole neck's exposed. Come on, finish the choke there, bro. <laughs> So if you have this ability, keep going, if you have this ability to be able to fend a choke with head movement, it's going to really um, help your game. Works in the gi as well. If Matthew brings his hand over and grabs the collar, more than likely now he's going to look for bow and arrow. So he'll be grabbing the pants, bringing this over. Come in. Perfect. So as that hand comes over and grabs the collar, I'm here. Go for the Yeah. So simple, raise your head and look up at the arm that's choking you. Turn your ear, right? Notice the way my ears are pointing in the same direction as Matthew's shoulders. I want my ear in his chest as if I'm trying to listen to this part. The minute I get to here, I'm going to start working my escapes, but we just want to develop that skill whereby as that arm comes over, I lift my head and I turn it. And at any stage, I can break off, start working my escape. So being able to defend the choke, whether it's a rear naked or a collar choke with just head movement um, is a big skill that you want to develop.